Hey folks, it's Nate, and today I'm going to show you how to stop your freaking Jeep JK doors from leaking. Well, hopefully anyway. There's this annoying leak that plagues a number of JKs where Water gets in the upper corner of the door, runs down the front of the door sill, and right into your footwells for the driver and passenger in the front, right? So today, I'm going to show you guys, um, basically, there's some replacement door seals that Jeep actually released, and it seems like some dealerships don't even know about them. Um, I'm going to show you how to put them on the Jeep, because I looked this up, and all I found was a bunch of little hacky tricks on how to fix the leak, but nobody was actually doing these door seals. So hopefully, hopefully I'm going to give you guys some info that maybe isn't other places. And then, uh, well, we're not going to have a chance to test it, but I'll probably report back later after we've had a few rainstorms to see if it actually helped or not. So stay tuned if you want to see how to change the door seals and get the part numbers and whatnot for the new model door seals. So let's get started. So I decided the easiest way to get this done would be to take the door off. You don't really have to take the door off. You could certainly do this with it on the Jeep, but one, so I could show you guys easier, and two, because I thought it would be easier to get to the seal, I decided to take the door off. If you've already had your doors off, this shouldn't be any mystery to you, but if you're watching this and you've never had a door off, um, it's really not that hard of a procedure. There's two T45 kind of inverted bolts is the best way I can describe them. Uh, that are on the door hinges. You got to take those off first. Be careful of your paint uh, so you don't nick up the paint with your socket or whatever you're, you're using to loosen them. Once they're off, uh, if you didn't know this already, there's even a little storage place for them in the cargo area in the back of your Jeep. It's underneath that little flap that's underneath your cargo area. Uh, so Jeep thought about that. There's a plug you got to unplug and the retainer strap, of course, you got to unhook from the hook. So unplug the plug, then unhook the hook. The hook is there to keep you from damaging the wire, or I should say the hook is set up to keep you from damaging the wire. So definitely unplug it first. Uh, that's what makes your power windows and locks and stuff work. Uh, anyway, once you've got the stuff disconnected, getting the door off might be a little bit of a pain because your hinges might be kind of stiff. Um, the best suggestion I can give you is looking at the example that I'm making right here. Take your hand and put it on the lower edge of the door as close to the hinge as you can get it where it's still in a flat spot and then hang on to the handle of the door and just lift upward. You can even use your leg to lift a little bit like with your thigh and rock the, the door back and forth. Uh, we don't have these doors off all that often and you can see that I got it off relatively easily. All right, so you might ask, what the heck is the difference? Why am I replacing relatively new door seals? Because um, when we got this Jeep, we noticed the leak. We went back to the dealership we bought it from. We bought it used. They had like one of these 30-day guarantees or whatever. And uh, they tried to fix it by replacing the door seals. The problem is that there's a flaw in the design of these door seals, the stock door seals, that Chrysler actually fixed in a redesign of the door seal. It's only a slight redesign, but it addresses the exact problem that we're having. And when we took it back to the dealership and said, hey, we're having this problem, they should have been like, oh yeah, there's a, re there's a redesigned door seal for that. Either they were being cheap or they didn't know. They gave us the same old door seals that have the same old problem. Um, it also looks like they didn't do a great job of installing it. You can see how it's separated here. I don't know if that's causing any issues or not. But we'll try to fix that today too. But what is the difference? So the difference is you see this ribbing that's on here. I don't know how well that comes out on camera, but there's ribbing. The important one is right here, right? So on the stock door seal, notice there's no ribbing here. On the new door seal, there's not just this rib, but there's ribs right here, right? And what this does is when water runs down the seal, it is channeled out to the outside of the seal where it can run down the outside of the door and outside the Jeep. 
What happens on this door seal is it runs down here and it has a channel through here on the windshield where the windshield attaches to the body. There's that rubber grommet or rubber seal and there's a little dimple uh, button attachment, whatever you call that, fastener that uh, is right in the center of it. And that thing causes a gap right here. And there's a lot of hacky fixes to fix that. Some people take foam insulation and put it over top of that button and that uh, fixes it for some people. It helped on ours, but it eventually came back. I'm looking for a more permanent fix. So hopefully this will be that permanent fix. So let's get into how to actually replace the door seals. Uh, and I'll put part numbers for the new door seals uh, in the description of the video. Maybe I'll put them up in the video here, but whatever. So the first thing you want to know about taking these seals off is they're in they're in a groove, or they should be in a groove, unlike this one. Um, and there's these press-in Christmas tree, whatever, fasteners that you see all over Jeeps. Uh, on mine, the driver's side one, these are like a mint color, and on the passenger they're this pink color. I don't know if that's to help installers quickly identify which is which, but uh, maybe you can use that to your advantage later, because I didn't remember which part number was which, but I noticed that little thing. So, I have one of these little jobbies, it's like a pry bar, you can probably get a plastic one that won't damage your paint, I'm just being careful here. So, I've used this thing plenty for other things like this, and basically it gets on either side and you just pry it right out. There's two here on the front edge of the door. And then there's one over there by the latch. It's right here. And this one's easier to get to, not as much in the way. There's only one here instead of two. And what these do is they give you a great way to line up the new seal once you're ready to install it. That way you're sure everything's lining up just right. Shouldn't need that anymore. Now this just pulls right out. Um, you can see there's lots of spots here where this thing is not fastened right. And I don't know if that was part of the problem. I gotta tell you, I'm not happy with the service department at the dealership we went to, we went to and that's a shame because they're local and they have a really good name in the Jeep community here. And I'm really disappointed in how it all worked out. I even know the parts manager. I wheel with the guy. He's a great guy. I don't know. He doesn't... The way Jeep dealerships work, I guess he doesn't have any control over the service side. He's just parts. But uh, yeah, I don't know. He can't even explain why our our uh, experience was so bad, but uh, you know, it's not his fault either, it's not like, uh... anyway, I don't want to get into the bashing the dealership I went to, but, all right, so in case you can't tell, this just pulls out at this point, right? So the old seal really just, once you have those trees out, it just pulls right out. You can see there it's not connected, the whole bottom wasn't, anyway. Now they don't have a super snug fit anyway, when you put the new one in. Um, they just kind of fit in there and I guess the pressure of the door closing is expected to hold it. All right, so this, the new seal, you can tell this is probably the most identifiable spot. It's the upper corner of the door. So what I did on the other, I already did the driver door. Uh, what I did is I lined that up loosely. I'm not putting it in yet. But then I'm taking these little Christmas trees. I'm gonna put one the one over here by the latch, you can just press it really good right through the rubber and you can hear it click in and then it's good and solid. So once you get that little Christmas tree pressed in, you basically see how it's got a ridge on either side and the seal is designed to fit into those ridges. See there's like a, I guess there's only really a good ridge on the one side to be honest. No, there's a good ridge there. So uh, you just kind of work it in there. I work the bottom in and then press the top in. And then you just kind of work your way around the whole door. There's little spots like this here, fits into this little hole here, so that'll give you a good idea that you're lined up right. You haven't overly stretched the seal, right? And you just kind of work your way around the door. Try to make sure it seats in there well. So yeah, I just kind of worked my way around the whole door, making sure that this upper seal, that I 
press the lower seal in and then use my thumb to push the upper seal in. And then you're going to want to go around the whole thing and recheck it after you get it all mounted because some of it may slip out as you're moving. You see how that's good and solid? You kind of give it a little tug and if it doesn't pull, you know, you got it in there. Don't pull too hard because it'll really easy, easily pull out of there. And again, I don't know how important it is that this is perfect. Because when the door is closed, which is the only time you can really expect the seal to work properly, uh, it's got all the pressure of the door latch and stuff holding it in place. So, you know, as long as it's really good, as long as it's where it needs to be. So these are these other two trees, if you can see that. I just basically lined the two of them up and pressed through the seal. You can hear them click. Give them a tug to make sure they're seated and you're good to go. There's a little nub here that lines up with the top of the rail that you're lighting, lining it, or yeah, that you're aligning it with. Make sure that lines up good. It's not always in the way. Come on, stay out of my way. Wires. Anyway. This really isn't a hard job, guys. If uh, if your door leaks and you can get a hold of these parts, you can do this. You take off your door, which if you're a Jeep owner, you're probably taking your doors off anyway. That's, that's nothing new, right? Uh, and then you just kind of line this up and get it in here. It's really not a hard job. Um, the only complicated part could be some folks like to realign the doors, or I should say the dealers will realign the doors when you bring it back in for leaks. I'm sure there's some merit to that. These were realigned when we took it back to the dealership at the beginning, so I'm not going to do all of that, but it basically involves loosening up the door hinges and rearranging the door so it seats as square as possible. Again, I'm not going to do that today. All right, uh, that should be it. Let's give it some little test pulls here. Seems pretty solid. A lot better job than the dealership did before. Now, admittedly, that was years ago. We got this thing, this Jeep, in 2019, I think it was. And it was a 2014. Or it is a 2014. Um, and it was, you know, 2019 when we had the dealership look at the seals. So did they come loose through use? I, I don't know. Okay, so that's it. Now we can put the door back on. That's, that's really it. That's all there is to it. Just make sure everything's lined up good. I feel like a broken record at this point. Make sure everything's lined up good. Make sure everything's good and tight. Make sure those trees are connected. And that's it. You've replaced your door seal. All right, and that really is it. The door seals are now replaced. Um, there is rainstorm coming today, so maybe even before I have a chance to edit this video, I'll have a chance to see if uh, it worked. We've been in kind of a drought, so it hasn't been a high priority to get these things fixed. I've had them sitting here for... <laughs> <laughs> months at this point my wife kept asking me when are you gonna do those door seals by the way but again it hasn't been rainy we're in a drought like all the puddles that are out there are all dried up so uh, it hasn't been a big deal at any rate that's it folks like I said part numbers will be in the description I can even give you links to where I bought them from because I had to go to one of these um, OEM parts dealers I couldn't even find them on like Amazon or whatever they were sold out everywhere I hope that doesn't mean there's a shortage on these like there is on every freaking thing else in the world at the moment but uh, hopefully you can find some and fix your door leak problems. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's been informative. Um, if you like this kind of content, remember to subscribe, like the video, let me know that you liked it. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, check out our site, swbcrawler.com. I got some new products on the store. I've been putting some attention into that. I've been trying to really build sort of a secondary uh, income out of selling funny t-shirts and stuff. Not affordable vendor. Maybe I should start wearing my own merch in these videos. What do you guys think? Anyway, thanks for watching folks. Remember, get out there and wheel. I'll catch you in the next one.